This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Railroad Inc. is a roll and write game for one to six players, but there's two different editions, so if you combine them both, you can play with 12 players, and there's some differences between them. The game is played over seven rounds, and each round players are taking the same four dice and drawing them out to their networks, trying to connect railroads to stations, to roads, and trying to connect multiples of these different networks, because the more you connect, the more points you get. But you'll be getting most of your points by these many networks connected together as one, but you'll also get points for your longest road, your longest train, and filling out the center, but you'll lose points for unconnected networks, and you also get to use some special dice throughout the game as well. Both versions have two different expansions which change the game quite a bit. This one you can make big rivers to help connect for big points. This one you can make lakes to have ferries drive and connect your different networks. And in the red edition, this one has craters which can destroy things, but you can gain resources from them by connecting to them. And this one has lava lakes which will get you points for closing them and for having large lava lakes. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Railroad Inc. has great production. The boards are very functional. The markers and erasers are great. Now this is a puzzly spatial roll and write where you're trying to connect as many networks as you can, but there's many other things to score. Longest road, longest track, scoring in the center, not leaving out open routes for negative points. Lots of plates spinning, lots of things to think about, working on different areas now, knowing that if you get the right die later, that's where it's going to go. It has some future planning. The player count's only limited to the number of players you have because you can print out extra sheets and buy extra games uh, and you know the mini expansions add depth and new challenges and they're really cool how they're different from each on the negative side it is multiplayer solitaire so if you don't like games that have no interaction this might not be the one for you and it's very thinky so analysis paralysis of one player can possibly hold the group up uh, now it might be too spatial for some too because it really is a spatial uh, puzzle there but I did like it so much that it got a saxophone serenade and made the gaming library this has been the Game Boy Geek, helping you find and enjoy the next board game you'll love. This video was sponsored by Miniature Market's Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.